from the Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish? or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg. If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The teaching of the gospel is clear. We need to pray always, even when everything seems in vain, when God appears to be deaf and mute, and it seems we are wasting time. Even if heaven is overshadowed, the Christian does not stop praying. A Christian's prayer keeps stride with his or her faith. And many days of our life, faith seems to be an illusion, a barren struggle. There are moments of darkness in our life, and in those moments, faith seems to be an illusion. But the practice of prayer means accepting this struggle too. But we have to continue with this struggle in the tough moments, the moments in which we feel nothing. Many saints experience the night of faith and God's silence when we knock and God does not respond. And these saints were persevering. During these nights of faith, those who pray are never alone. Indeed, Jesus is not only a witness and teacher of prayer, he is more. He welcomes us in his prayer so that we may pray in him and through him. And this is the work of the Holy Spirit. This is why the Gospel invites us to pray to the Father in Jesus' name.